Some days I love my job. You wouldn't believe some of the things I get to see hiding in the shadows. Some people live their lives doing whatever the hell they want without a care in the world. Hello. M my name's Sarah Williams. I'm looking for a private investigator. It must be nice being that selfish. No morals, no responsibilities, and definitely no guilt. <laughs> That's for sure. I swear, I wouldn't normally do this, but I just don't know what else to do. I think my fiancé is having an affair. I mean, is it too much to ask these people to have a sense of shame? <laughs> Clearly. Otherwise I wouldn't be sat here watching this piece of shit getting all hot and sweaty right now. With girl number, what was it now? Six, seven? Just, just look at him. Like I said, no shame. Scumbags like him don't care how many lives they ruin. They lie. Steal. Cheat. And fuck without a care in the world. No harm. No foul. All is fair if you are ruthless enough. Life is just a chess game to them. And we are the stupid pawns that get taken out in the process. The problem is, they, like so many others, forget. There's always someone watching. got you so stressed out, baby. Someone's been keeping tabs on you. Do they know what you really get up to when you're not hiding behind that cool exterior? I bet I know what you're thinking. Does someone know I've been a naughty boy?
jackass. He really does think he's God's gift. So smooth and confident. See her fawning all over him. How embarrassing. How can she not see past the chance and past the lies? How hard is it to see? I mean, when you look at a man like him, and I mean, when you look closer, you realise it's all an illusion. You realise that it's all one well-presented lie. You finally see him for what he is. Insecure. Shallow. Mummy issues. And most of all, selfish. And there you are. There's the real man. Doesn't feel nice, does it? Feeling like someone is laughing at you. Someone's messed up your neat little world. And you don't like it, do you? It makes you angry, doesn't it? The man who played the lives of so many women finally getting a taste of what it's like to lose. That's just about enough of that. Playtime's over. My move. Who the hell are you? Don't you remember me? I said, who the hell are you? Now, that pisses me off. See, I know everything about you, Nick. I know your favorite color. I know the books you keep close to your heart. The films that you watch all alone. I know the games you like to play, here and in your mind. I know what music you listen to at night when you're fast asleep. I know your mother and your father. I know the look on your face when a woman pisses you off or turns you on. You could have had everything with me. And you turned it all down. For what? Her. You're out of your mind. Leave now and I won't call the police. You have 10 seconds. I bet you say that to all the ladies. This was all you? Why? I don't even know who you are. <laughs> That's what you think.
can I buy you a drink? Not now, love. I'm busy. And no offense, but you're not really my type. Let's get out of here. That's it? That's fucking it? You're mad. You're crazy. Not even close, babe. Okay. Well, maybe I'm not as innocent as I made it out. I think it's time for everyone to find out who the real Nick is. Does Lara know about Emily, Nick? Does Emily know about Sarah? Oh, what a mess. I think it's time they find out. Don't you? <coughs> <coughs> People tell you when you're dying, your life flashes before your eyes. It doesn't. I can't tell you enough how boring this is, really. All I can think of is... Mm, he's not that good looking close up. Did I ever really like this man? Did I get carried away again? Just like last time, or the time before that, and before that. Like with... Tom, Joe, Ben, and that cute accountant, Dylan. Maybe Nick just wasn't the man for me. Maybe I just needed to keep looking. I did wonder all that time ago when I first looked into his eyes just exactly how this would all end. Game over, you bastard. <laughs> Well, here we are. So this is how it ends. Honestly, am I sorry? Not really. The bastard had it coming. And her. Please, I told you, I don't remember what happened. I woke up and found him like that. He was just lying there. Someone must have set me up, please. I swear, it wasn't me. Yeah, yeah, that's what they all say. Yeah, that and I don't know how that got there, officer. Honestly, you must think we were born yesterday, Neil. Come on now, love, into the car. Well, there's always some collateral damage. My advice, taken from my own personal experience, pick a better man. It's Sarah. We spoke last week. I was just wondering if you had any news for me. I haven't seen Nick in over a week. He told me he was going away on business, but I just don't know what to believe anymore. Could you call me back when you get a chance? Why don't these people realise there's always someone watching? <laughs>